Dreams from Allah are one of two types. The first of them, which is less common, is that you see an actual event with you in it without any symbolism. You see something that will happen in the future. You see something that will happen in the future. And there's no symbolism in it. It's a direct, this is exactly what will happen. Okay. So the Prophet ﷺ saw a dream that he's doing tawaf around the Kaaba. Sixth year of the Hijrah. Sixth year of the Hijrah, right? He saw a dream, he's doing tawaf around the Kaaba. So he, there is no symbolism. When, when he saw the dream, he knew this is not a symbolic dream. So he said, O oh Muslims, I saw a dream, I'm doing tawaf around the Kaaba, let's go do Umrah. What happened that year? They stopped him from coming in. And the Treaty of Hudaybiyah took place, where the Prophet ﷺ was prevented from going into Mecca. He saw a dream. There's no symbolism. I saw myself doing tawaf and shaving my hair. This will happen. Allah said in the Quran, this dream that you saw is a true dream. You're going to enter Masjid Al Haram. It will happen. Not this year, next. It will happen next year. So, this is the first type of dream that you see an actual enactment of what will happen. This is rarer. It's rare, but it happens. It's more common to the prophets. So, Prophet, Isma, Prophet Ibrahim sees what does he see? I see myself sacrificing you. There's no symbolism. It's clear cut, right? More common to the prophets. Uh, with regards to such types of dreams, our Prophet ﷺ narrates, Aisha tells us, that for six months before the revelation of the Quran, every single night, the Prophet ﷺ would see one of these dreams. For six months non-stop, every time our Prophet ﷺ would go to sleep, he would dream, What's going to happen tomorrow? He dreams he's going to meet somebody. Next day that person comes, he meets him. One day, literally 12 hours gap. He sees the dream, the next morning it happens. For six months non-stop. Why? Allah is telling him something special is going to happen. Allah is telling him something great is going to happen. Preparing him for the revelation of Iqra. For six months this happens and then Iqra is revealed. So this is this type of dream. We said dreams from Allah are two types. Number one, no symbolism. Number two, symbolism. And this is the more common type. This is the more common type. Sometimes the prophets have it, yes. And more commonly, even non-prophets have it. And in this type of dream, every object that you see symbolizes, represents something else. So, an ear of corn represents a year of water, according to the story of Yusuf, right? Or a very fat cow and a very thin cow represents a year of drought versus a year of surplus, right? Or X represents Y. A tree represents this, the Kaaba represents that, okay? Light represents something else. In one hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, I saw men wearing robes of different sizes. Some of their robes were up to their necks, some of them up to their stomachs. And I saw Umar ibn al-Khattab, his robe, his shirt was dragging behind him. They said, how did you interpret it? He said, the religion. People have different sizes of religion. Some's religion is small, some's religion is big. Umar's religion was so strong, it's going all the way back there. So a shirt means religion in this dream. Now, by the way, this doesn't mean that in every single dream, a shirt symbolizes religion. But in this dream, it did. So this type of dream is a symbolic dream. We see it right now in the story of Yusuf right now, because he sees seven, he sees 11 stars and he sees the sun and the moon. This is symbolic symbolism. Everything that you see, every color, every animal, every image, every plant, every inanimate object that you remember, it represents something.